Hello to all of you. So in today's video, I'm going to explain you how you can um, install a, a Let's Encrypt certificate on your NAS. So a certificate is here so you can ensure yourself that the uh, server you are talking to, so your NAS, is the right one. So we can ensure authenticity or authentication of the server. Then with the encryption, uh, thanks to the certificate after, you can ensure that your passwords and your data is transmitted securely. So everything is encrypted. And of course, it also ensures that everything, you know, is, um, it assures integrity. And if you have a signed certificate by Let's Encrypt or other vendors, it will allow you also, you know, not to have any kind of error messages when using the web, con the, the web browser or the Synology application. Okay, so now what you need at first is to have a host name. Okay, so now you see I have the, this is a test3.synology.me uh, host name. That's the first step. Uh, I'm not going to ask for a Let's Encrypt certificate because I would like to show you guys how it works. And so for the rest, we can go to the security tab and then to the certificate. Now, there is something that has changed. I don't know from when it changed or from, you know, what kind of changes. It was in the DSM or maybe at Let's Encrypt um, uh, website. I don't know what changes, but now you do not need to have a uh, NAT. Before you had to have a, um, how do you say, a NAT uh, for the port 80 to be redirected from your router to your NAS. Okay, and that is what I was always, always doing for two years. But it seems that uh, when I wanted to make this video for you guys, actually, I made a mistake. I forgot something, but I was still able to get the certificate. So I've done this video already five times. I've uh, tried to understand what has changed and I finally found what, had, I finally found what, what did change. Okay, so I'm going to explain you how it, how it works. Not a lot because there are some details that, of course, I cannot find, but here we go. You don't need any NAT anymore. So what happens? What's going to happen now? I'm going to create my certificate, okay, uh, with the uh, my new website, okay? So let me, find, uh, let me find the address for you guys, okay? I'm to, I am a little bit excited because it's a lifesaver. It, I always had to do a lot of stuff before, you know, needed, needing the certificate, but actually I don't need to. It's extremely easy. Just something to, to tell you, uh, I have found that sometimes I had some problems with Google Chrome, the latest one, and there is a problem with the certificates which, which do not have the subject alternative name. So I'm just going to ask you guys, it's better for you to uh, also put the subject alternative name, although it's the same than the domain name, just put, um, put the name on both in both fields. So you are sure that we, you will not have any kind of problems. Okay, so now I'm going to um, uh, make the apply. I'm going to test my address because I've been asking for too many certificates for those videos. And let's see what happens, okay? I'm going to show you, first of all, what you can see, if it works. And uh, there you go. There is a web request, a web request here from the NAS in HTTPS to Let's Encrypt. Okay, that's the first thing. Now, the second thing that we will see in the firewall logs, this is the address. Okay, so the NAS has contacted Let's Encrypt also through the DNS. So it is tunneling traffic inside the DNS, uh, probably to verify that you are indeed the owner of the domain and the NAS, okay? And also I can confirm on this other uh, security window that yes, indeed, it is the DNS protocol that, it, that is used. I think that they have made a, this change because people had maybe some problems and it was complicated to, to order certificates uh, uh, through Synology, for, through a NAS or through some servers because they were very strict. You had to open 
uh, your uh, port 80 uh, to your from your router to your NAS and maybe you had some incompatibilities with some other services so they were put, putting some constraints some you know difficulties for people and some person you know they, they, they don't understand how this NAT is working okay and um, and so so now they are tunneling the traffic through HTTPS and through DNS because normally DNS is also used by hackers in command and control and also to exfiltrate uh, data you know in a very discreet way because usually the DNS uh, protocol is not really uh, restricted in an infrastructure and uh, it is not you know you, you do not uh, survey not not survey you do not control this traffic you know usually you just let it go so that's why so it's also used by hackers but it's also used now by let's encrypt to make the, your life easier and so as you can see here I have my certificate and I'm going to show you guys a uh, last thing before ending this video what if I would like to, to renew this certificate? So just be careful here because they're asking you to do some NAT, okay? So that your route, your NAS can be accessible from the internet uh, with the port 80 or uh, 443, okay? But you don't need, you don't need. So if you see this, just don't, just don't go through with it. So now to prove it to you guys, I'm going to do an apply. Okay, I have no NAT rules at all whatsoever. Okay, so let's wait. My certificate is renewed, and you can also see here uh, where is it? Where is it? No, maybe I don't see it. Okay, just here that again it's using the uh, DNS, um, the DNS protocol. Okay. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was actually way easier than what I thought. I, I thought because, you know, I've been doing this for like half an hour because I did not understand what was the, what it, what it was working. So anyway, I hope you enjoy and feel free to ask any questions if you would like. Bye-bye.